Hello. I'm eating one of Jack's protein bites. Don't tell him. Mmm. Not bad. Forgive me if I'm oddly calm this evening. I am exhausted. It just hit me right, right now. Uh, we were just working today. Did really good. <laughs> Well done me. And then I went to see Dr. Schweb, who is my surgeon. It was my six weeks post-op and I'm healed up. I'm done. You want to see? Ah! Oh, kidding. <laughs> I don't need to wear my garment anymore. Can't wait to throw that thing away. Honestly, it's just not very appealing. I am just so delighted. So delighted. My healing and all that was really quite easy, if I'm honest. Um, I felt back to normal for ages. I actually can't believe it's been six weeks. It kind of feels like longer. It feels, well, my body, it feels like I've been fine for ages. But I am definitely going to film a video this time. So let me know any questions you have at all. For anyone that has no idea what I'm talking about, I had a breast augmentation. My second breast augmentation, actually. Ask me any questions you want. I just asked on Twitter as well. Uh, I'm going to be filming that later, like this week, sometime. I have absolutely no excuse not to go to the gym now, which I forgot about. I totally forgot that that's why I wasn't going. I just thought that I wasn't going anymore in general, but no, I actually really need to get my arse to the gym. I really think I want to try yoga or some kind of hot activity in the heat like Pilates or hot yoga because my body thrives in hot temperatures. What else I've got to tell you? Went got my nails done. Just got wee white nails. Uh, I didn't film it because it was very last minute appointment because I didn't realise that I'm very busy this week. I wanted to film a video tomorrow morning because I'm going to London tomorrow all day. I'm getting picked up at the house at eight o'clock in the morning and I'll probably get home. I can tell you right now. I'll probably get home about half nine. I've got to get up at six o'clock tomorrow morning and I'm going to film a video in that time of the morning. I thought because I've got such a crazy long day, if I put my makeup on at like six, get home at 10, that's like 16 hours. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I just thought it would be really cool for me to do a wear test because there's a couple of new products that are out that boast all day wear. All day, all day. Two flights, million meetings, an event up and down the country all day let me test it so i'm gonna do that so i'm just setting up that's what i do get all my stuff out so i've got no excuse because it's all just sitting here ready to go all i have to do is turn that camera on sit here and do my makeup which i'd be doing anyway does that mean i have to give up watching tv while doing my makeup yes are you guys worth it yes me and Jack have an episode of The Outsider to Watch, which I'm very excited about. And then I need to go straight to my bed. I'm losing the plot. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I just filmed this makeup. Half seven in the morning. Half seven. We're trying out a foundation and a primer all day. So I did my perfect, this is my perfect makeup for going down to London. It's quite somewhat natural. Um, and it just wears really nice, so this is what I'm looking like today. But yeah, I can't believe it. I woke up at six to film. A YouTube queen. <laughs> Hello. I like how you bit. Pale under the eyes. Where's my bronzer? So I need to update you guys. I am got myself some. Uh, London was really great. Really fun event with Maybelline. Great meetings afterwards. Got home at 10 and I finished filming my video, which will be up next week. Yesterday was crazy. I, it, was an, it was a bit of an admin day. So me and Charlotte were working and we were basically on our computers from the start to the finish without really coming up for air. <laughs> it was crazy. It was a really hectic day, a lot going on, but it was fab, really great. And then I literally last night, I was so tired. We finished work at six and then I just had a bath and did a bit of shopping. So I did because we are going skiing next week and I'm so excited. I've not been skiing since I was like in my late teens. There's stuff that you, you need to have for skiing, like you really need waterproof gloves, you really need um, like salopettes, which are waterproof trousers, you really need a visor, I actually got given a visor. Oh, it's right here! Look how cool! Very cool, Laura Mercier, 
ski goggles. So there's just a couple of bits that we really needed. Jack as well, actually. We needed to get him goggles. We needed to get him gloves and silhouettes. And ski socks are really important. You can't just wear your normal socks. You have to have ski socks. So we had to do a little bit of shopping last night, which I did. And then we just literally went to sleep. It was great. Juno likes to do this thing to wake you up. Um, that pretty much just lie on top of you and kind of lick slash bite your face. So that happened this morning at 8 o'clock. And then I had to get ready because today Jack Baxter, my hairdresser, the best hairdresser in the world, he is coming over and we're driving through to Edinburgh to meet Josh Wood. And I'm really buzzing. So Josh Wood is a amazing hairdresser. Jack really likes him as well. So we thought that we would go through together. And I am getting a blow dry. I'm getting a blow dry. I'm getting my hair done. My Uber driver. <laughs> uh, we just got to Edinburgh and we're going to the Edinburgh Grand Hotel and there's a there's some kind of penthouse situation that's very exciting but I'm, I'm buzzing I'm buzzing to meet him I don't know what it's going to be like cool cool I've actually had left on have you? Past. where? in a uh, extensions for Mary Katranza you did? Co he coloured extensions and I was working on a team cool he's so cool yeah I'm excited it's going to be great right so it's semi <laughs> I've got a little treatment on my hair. We call it a treatment, don't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a treatment. Mask. Treatment mask. So you apply it like a conditioner. Yes. And you leave it on for 20 minutes. It acts like a little bit of a toner, so it enhances. I'm, I'm, I'm just repeating what I've heard. So I've not learned about it yet, but it's brand new to me, so it's fine. So it gives a little bit of tone to the hair. It's really, really hydrating. And the ones that I thought I've got champagne in right now, which is a wee bit warmer, which I actually really like. I think warm tones suit me. We've decided this, haven't we, Jack? You've got a flat icy, which is the classic perfect tone for platinum hair right okay in blondes and brown hair blondes Josh would shade shop well so we're gonna see what this is like this is great I'm gonna show you around a little bit as well this is great my new house this is the Edinburgh Grand Hotel but look how gorgeous it's literally beautiful I wish it wasn't so cold otherwise I would go outside but it's just stunning we don't really know what this building is, but it looks really interesting. Gorgeous, everyone's working. We've got, there's three hairstylists working. There's Charlotte, <laughs> hiding. There's Jack. And then over here, we've got the other side of Edinburgh, but this is really beautiful. Really amazing. I would actually quite like to live here. And then this is actually a bedroom, but there's a station set up and they've got a flipping sink, a basin, a backwash. Me and with Charlotte, here she is. Yeah, me with Charlotte. Me with Charlotte. Um, we're on our way in to go and see Laura Miller to get this to get this lip dissolved. I'm really excited. I'm a wee bit nervous. I know it's going to be nippy. I think the sensation of the dissolver is the same as the injection that I got in my leg for anti-sickness, which is a more of a kind of burning. But we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not nervous about the after anymore at all because I actually I looked up some pictures of people before and after getting their lips dissolved and everyone looks great and we're going to leave my bottom lip alone just because it's fine they be no I think it's fine the only thing is uh, I don't know if I've said this already but Laura has said that it's quite an unpredictable medicine uh, it's quite an unpredictable drug you can't really gauge how much of your lips going to dissolve you can't get like you just can't tell and just because we've been waiting for so long for this bit to go down it's just not uh, which again, I'll say Laura, it wasn't Laura that did it. Um, I'm, we're gonna just dissolve and start again. I'm back in two weeks today to get the border done again. I think that's our plan anyway. Um, but we're just gonna play it by ear really and see what happens. We're doing a test in my arm to see because some people, am I right in saying some people react to this and then you just can't, you know, you just can't have it. It tends to be people that are more allergic to things in general, people that are allergic to bee stings, kiwis, yeah, anything really. But I'm not allergic to anything. I don't have hay fever or anything, so we will see. So we're going to do a wee patch test to my arm and then leave it 20 minutes. Yep. Right, you ready for it? Yep. Right, my girl, so just a wee scratch. I've already sterilised the area. Wee nippy. I'm oh, sorry. And then a wee bump will come up. Get get up for We're going to keep an eye on that for 20 minutes. Where is it? There. Gonna be red, but there. No. <laughs> Doesn't it hurt? How did it feel? No, enough. Okay. Good. 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 Is that good. it? That's it. Oh, so you can do your party trick. Can you see my party trick? No. Oh my god, this. Units. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay. Four jags. Look how good that is. It's literally 
Live down and down. We don't. We don't. So reaction would be like, it would be like a bullseye, so that would all be the edge and about there, and you'd be scratched. So as I say, there's a bit more on that side than what I thought, so we'll do two injections. Still tiny little doses, and then at the end of it, I need to do a massage. Okay. First, feed up, okay. Feed up. Good job. And then a little bit of pressure. Well done. Horrible. Mm-mm. Well done. Am I allowed to do another one? Mm-hmm. Good job. Well done. Oh, you're a pro. And that's it halfway? Can you make me halfway? Is that actually it? How's it feeling now? Still stingy or gone? Usually the stingy is only lasts while we've injected. I feel like going already. Oh my god. That's shorter. Oh, sorry, I know. You need to be rough. You need to get it out of all the way. Because what's happened is you get filler sitting in this fat pad, so I'm needing it to get it all in all the compartments. Holy shit, Laura. But again, it's, you won't see the full benefit because I've replaced it with fluid, so there's fluid in there. <laughs> but obviously it's replaced it with some fluid and this is going to continue to work for 24 to 48 hours, so we're hoping you don't come back with no lip, but I think you'll definitely lose a bit. That looks a bit smoother already, eh? Good job. And again. Well done. Makes my eyes water a bit, but it's Is that a bit so sore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're definitely getting more of a scoop. Whoa! Yeah, let's see from the side. It might be a bit swollen because she's oh, been yeah, punching. Yeah, Fuck it, <laughs> Good job. So proud of you. Woohoo, well done. <laughs> well done. Is that just water? And it wasn't. <laughs> Does it honestly not feel bad? No. Guys, that was easy. I don't know what I was so nervous about. I'm a bit red because I had to massage. Look! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezer. So, guys. That was totally fine. Uh, I'm not meant to say that because Laura says it actually does hurt people sometimes a lot. You can see a difference. Uh, even when, actually when I'm talking you can see a difference as well. You can see more of my teeth. My lip just feels really soft and like it's all gone. It's going to continue to dissolve for 24 to 48 hours. We were really careful. I think Laura did 30 units and 35 units a wee bit extra on this yeah, side. She did an extra jag on this side. So basically when I do this you can see there is no longer any filler above my lip. That's mad. It was literally like a white uh -huh. gem almost. So I'm really, I'm actually really happy. I'm excited. I think my lip will go down a little bit more and then I'm just going to use lip liner and then I definitely am going to get the border done when I get lip filler back in, but really it's all gone. I was really nervous because I thought it was going to be agony because apparently it really hurts. People, everyone that I've spoke to that's had their lip filler dissolved has said it's really, really sore. I honestly, you can see, I felt nothing. Jack! Jack! Ah. Did you notice a big difference in my lips? If you hadn't told me you were getting them undone, I wouldn't have realised. So this is the last time that I got quite a lot put in my lips. They're small now. Bye. <laughs> if anyone's wondering about me cheating on Jack Baxter, he's right here. Yeah, he knows that I'm here. That. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, everything's fine. Totally healed up. That's me. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> oh my god, it's belched. Begin? <laughs> um, so we're going to watch that tonight and then I'm going to go to my bed. My, my, my bed? I'm going to go to my bed. Hey, let's see. Perfect. <laughs> I'm okay. Mm. It's Friday, my dudes. Ah!